Hi, and welcome to this video, which tells you what you need to know about the IELTS for UK VI Academic Test. IELTS stands for International English Language Testing System and is an internationally recognised English language proficiency test conducted by the British Council, Cambridge Assessment, English and other organisations. IELTS test scores are used and trusted by over 10,000 academic institutions, governments and organisations around the world. About 3 million tests are taken every year. There are two types of IELTS tests. The general test, taken by people who are perhaps looking to emigrate to an English-speaking country, and the academic test, which has to be taken by anyone who wants to study at undergraduate or postgraduate level in the UK or other English-speaking country. So it is the IELTS for UK VI academic test that you need to take. There are four parts to the IELTS test which assess four different aspects of your English language proficiency. Listening, reading, writing and speaking. These tests aren't intended as academic tests, but tests which reflect everyday language and the sort of real life conversations you're likely to have in a UK university. Each of the four IELTS tests are scored in bands from 1 to 9 and your overall score is the average of the scores you receive in the four tests. It's uh, not the sort of test that you can pass or fail. It gives you a score which reflects your overall level of English language competency. But most universities will set the level that they expect you to achieve if your application is going to be accepted. The listening and reading tests each contain 40 items and one mark is awarded for each. Assessing the writing and speaking tests is a bit more complicated and the examiners will assess your performance in four areas. Task achievement, coherence and cohesion, so how well you put your ideas and thoughts together. Lexical resource, which is your vocabulary or your word power and grammatical range and accuracy. If you want more information about the IELTS assessment criteria, there is a link in our PDF guide. So what do the IELTS tests look like? The IELTS listening test is divided into four parts, with each of the parts getting progressively more difficult. You will listen to four recordings of native English speakers and then you will be asked 10 questions about each recording, so 40 questions in total. The first conversation is between two people. The second recording is a piece of information. Recording three is a conversation between three or four people, maybe students discussing a topic with their tutor. And the fourth recording is generally more academic monologue perhaps a university lecture. You will have 30 minutes to complete the questions and a further 10 minutes to transfer your answers onto your answer sheet. And keep in mind, you need to complete your answer sheets carefully because you will be penalised for poor grammar and spelling. For the reading test, you will be given three fairly long texts to read which will have been taken from textbooks, newspapers or magazines. You need to answer 40 questions to test your understanding of the ideas, arguments and opinions in these texts. There may be some diagrams or illustrations contained within these texts. The duration of the reading test is 60 minutes. The academic writing test requires you to complete two separate tasks in 60 minutes. In task one you are essentially converting non-verbal information into written information and you should spend about 20 minutes on this task. You will be given a chart or a graph or a diagram and asked to describe what you see in your own words. 
you should write between 150 and 170 words. But don't write more than this or less than 150 words because you will be penalised. In task two, you have to write an essay in response to an argument, a problem or a point of view. You might have to justify an opinion or present a solution or perhaps compare and contrast different pieces of evidence. You are required to write at least 250 words in about 40 minutes. You can go up to 280 words, but don't write more than 280 or less than 250 words because you will be penalised. You need to structure your writing so that you have an introduction, the main body of your essay and then a conclusion. And you need to stay, stay focused on the topic because you will lose marks if you start to move away from the subject you have been asked to write about. We definitely find the best way to develop your academic writing skills and do well in this test is to practice lots of past papers and write every day. There are three parts to the IELTS speaking test, which together last about 12 to 14 minutes. In the first part, which lasts about five minutes, the examiner will ask you some simple questions like, what's your name? How are you? What are your interests? In part two, you will be handed a cue card with a specific topic on it. You have then one minute to prepare your ideas and then you will talk informally about the subject on the card for two or three minutes without interruption from the examiner. The examiner will ask you one or two questions at the end. Try to talk confidently and naturally and just be yourself. In the final part of the speaking test, the examiner asks you a few questions about the subject you have just been talking about. The examiner tries to, to draw more information from you so they can assess your conversational skills. So this is your opportunity to really demonstrate your fluency and your vocabulary. And that's it. Now you've completed your IELTS tests. So what happens next? Your results will be available about two weeks after you have completed your test. These can be posted to you, or you can arrange to collect them from your test centre. Your test report form will also be available online for 28 days. When you book your test, you can also arrange for the results to be sent automatically to up to five organisations. If you don't get the result you wanted, you can register to take another IELTS test. Although make sure, if you are planning to take another test, that you really understand all the information IELTS have provided on their website about how to prepare for your IELTS test and about their band scores and assessment criteria. Booking an IELTS test is really easy. First of all, find your nearest test centre, which you can do at www.ielts.org. Complete the registration form on the IELTS website and pay for your test or use their downloadable form. Wait to receive confirmation of the date and time of your test and that's all. Now you need to start preparing for your IELTS tests. To help you do this we've produced four videos with advice on taking each of the four tests which we strongly advise you watch. There is also a PDF you can download from the ULEARN Education website with some useful links to other IELTS resources. Good luck with your test and if you need any more information, let us know.